In this video, 10 NFL teams are going to show up on my screen, and I will tell you if they are pretenders or contenders in the upcoming 2024 NFL season. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. The New York Jets, I got to say, I think they'll be contenders. This is contingent on Aaron Rodgers staying healthy. The New York Jets finished 7-10 with Zach Wilson as their damn quarterback. And Aaron Rodgers on one foot is a way much better quarterback than Zach Wilson is. So if Aaron Rodgers is healthy and the offense is clicking and the defense is great, they have a great defense, but if Aaron Rodgers can stay healthy and this team could get rolling, I think this team could win as high as 12 wins. I understand the whole New York Jets suck type things, but this Super Bowl window is closing. If Rodgers is healthy and lasts the full season, this team can really make noise. So I'm going to go based on Rodgers being healthy. The New York Jets are contenders in the 2024 season. The Atlanta Falcons. Listen, I got to say, for those who have been following the channel, I have not been too high on the Atlanta Falcons. I know, I know. I was definitely pinpointing on their pass rush but with the moves they made recently they traded for Matthew Judon they got Justin Simmons I'm gonna have to change my stance on the Atlanta Falcons and I'm gonna have them be contenders in the 2024 season Kirk is coming he's gonna come back from his uh Achilles injury I think starting the season off I don't think he's gonna rely on the deep ball a lot. I think this is where we're gonna see Bijan Robinson get a lot of workload to kind of just slow the game down and just rely on the short pass game. And then at, eventually, I do believe that Kirk is gonna let it fly. And the te the defense got better. The defense got better. Justin Simmons at safety. They did enhance the pass rush with Judon. I wasn't high on them, but they're high. I'm very high on them, and I think they could win the NFL division, even though the NFC South division is probably the weakest division in the NFL. All you probably need is about nine, 10 wins, maybe eight wins to win a division. But I think the Falcons will win that division now with the moves they made recently. So I've got the Falcons as contenders. The Miami Dolphins. Look, Tua, Tyreek, they have been a phenomenal duo, but I am not high on the Miami Dolphins. I think they are pretenders. Honestly, to me, I think Tua is just the AFC version of Dak Prescott. Tua just has phenomenal regular season numbers. The Miami Dolphins just cannot get it done in the playoffs. And about the Miami Dolphins, they just see, they just don't seem to kind of make noise and get crucial wins against teams above 500 uh, as well as against playoff teams. I feel like sometimes they kind of struggle to put up points against them and I just feel like whenever they're not at home, they tend to struggle away against playoff teams and Tua in cold weather. I just, I just, I'm not a big believer in the Miami Dolphins team. Um, they're gonna make noise in the regular season, but come playoff time, I think they're gonna come down to earth and crash. I had the Miami Dolphins being pretenders this upcoming season. Up next, okay, we got the Dallas Cowboys. Look, the Dallas Cowboys have probably been one of the most dominant NFC teams for quite some time, divisional winners here and there. Um, but I do not think they will be contenders in the upcoming season. Listen, after that ass whooping by the Green Bay Packers, the Cowboy fans have been really quiet during the offseason. I'm sure a lot of Dak Prescott jerseys are tucked away in the closet or probably in the garbage, and especially with the Cowboys contract situation, whether they need to pay C.D. Lamb, uh, Dak Prescott, and especially with the Cowboys trying to make Dak Prescott the highest-paid quarterback in the NFL. I am not high on this Cowboys team. I don't think they'll be as dominant as they were last season. But they'll still be good. Um, but I just think that they'll be pretenders. I mean, as long as Dak Prescott is there at quarterback and Jerry Jones is there, this team isn't going to win a championship. They're just not. And I'm just not a big believer in Dak taking the Cowboys to the next level. Um, so as long as Dak is there, I got to say, I have the Dallas Cowboys pretenders in the upcoming season. Okay, Jacksonville Jaguars. Interesting, interesting AFC team. Look, they started the season really hot last season. They started 8-3. and three. 
Then they started to crash and burn during the stretch, but Trevor Lawrence was really banged up. The offense was a bit subpar a bit, especially when Kirk, when Christian Kirk went down. So things weren't clicking offensively and you know, that late season collapse did occur, but in the upcoming season, Trevor Lawrence is to come back healthy. Etienne's a solid running back. They have deep threat rookie wide receiver Brian Thomas Jr., Christian Kirk, Gabe Davis, Evan Ingram. I think this is going to be a very pass happy offense, very aerial attack offense, which they kind of need to be if they really want to win the AFC division and take down the Colts for the second place, or if they want to take down the Texans in the first place division and make some noise. But I honestly think that the Jaguars can be contenders if the pass rush can get there and make and help the def and help the pass defense make plays. This could be a very sleeper team in the AFC. Um, and I do think that with the addition of Brian Thomas Jr., who's going to help stretch the field, be a deep threat, and add more um, weapons to the offense, this offense can make real, can make a lot of noise. The pass rush, I think they can make noise. And I, I think the Jaguars are a very sleeper AFC team in the upcoming season. I will have them as the contenders. The Seattle Seahawks. Interesting, interesting. Okay, my feelings about the Seahawks is they have a quarterback, a veteran quarterback who's on a really good bargain deal. They probably have one of the top trio wide receivers in the NFL, probably top three, top three trio wide receivers. Um, but defensively, that that run defense was not good. Um, they got ran over a lot. But with the addition of Mike McDonald coming from the Baltimore Ravens and Pete Carroll leaving, I think a change of voice was much needed for the Seattle Seahawks. So um, I do believe that Mike, McDon Mike McDonald will enhance the defense. And I think he'll bring a new culture and a new voice to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, but unfortunately, even though I do think the Seahawks can probably push for a wild card spot, I don't think this is the year where they can make some Super Bowl noise. Maybe they're probably a year or two away, probably. But this season, new head coach, um, new offensive coordinator. Um, I think this might be a bridge kind of year before things kind of accelerate into higher gear, maybe next year, the next two years. But this year, I kind of have him being pretenders. I think they could probably push for a wild card spot. But Super Bowl wise, I kind of have them being pretenders in the upcoming season. The Green Bay Packers, the baby Packers, the youngest team in the NFL. They surprised a lot of people this past season now that they locked in Jordan Love as the franchise quarterback with the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. This team is going to make a lot of noise in the NFC. I mean, their wide receiver room is stacked. I mean, they don't have any superstars, but in terms of quality receivers and depth, they have a pick or poison type wide receiver room where Jordan Love just has options, whether it's in the wide receiver room or tight end with Tucker Craft, Luke Musgrave. So the offense. Jordan Love is legit. This offense is in click. It's going to come down to this, the new defensive coordinator, Jeff Hackley, press man defense. They brought in Xavier McKinney. They brought in Josh Jacobs as the running back. So they did make key changes to help elevate this team to the next level. Um, if this team could stop the rush, they can definitely make noise. If they can stop the rush, the Green Bay Packers have not been known to stop the rush and rush teams just love to run on them. But if the team stops the rush and the new defensive scheme get is way better than what Joe Barry provided last season and Jordan Love plays like he did the second half of the NFL season, the Green Bay Packers will be legit and they probably will face the San Francisco 49ers again in the playoffs. And I do have the Green Bay Packers being contenders. I think the NFC is going to come down to the 49ers, Lions, Eagles, Packers. I think the Packers are probably top four, top five team to be contenders for the Super Bowl in the NFC side. So I got the Green Bay Packers being contenders in 2024. Cleveland Browns. Listen, they have probably one of the best defenses in the NFL. Last year, they were just dominant in the pass, dominate off the edge, especially with, you know, um, Miles Garrett, Zedaria Smith coming off the edge. Playing defense at home, this is probably the best defensive team playing at home. When they played away, the defense wasn't the best as if they were at home, but you know how it is in the NFL. When you go to a different team, the other team has that home field advantage. But 
something about Deshaun Watson. I just don't think that he will be the Deshaun Watson like he was with the Houston Texans. I think Deshaun Watson Texans days are pretty much gone. And I just don't like the way he looks. And I just feel like he's missing throws. And he just doesn't look the same as he was when he was with the Texans. And I just feel like he's going to be their downfall. Defense, great. They have Amari Cooper, wide receiver, Jerry Judy. I mean, they they have pieces there. They have the pieces there. But I just feel like Deshaun Watson just kind of washes everything out. And I just don't think that Deshaun Watson can take this Cleveland Browns to another level. Um, so unfortunately, I'm going to have the Cleveland Browns as pretenders in the upcoming season. They'll have dominant defense. I think they'll probably make the playoffs. I think there's a good chance that all four AFC North teams can make the playoffs. So I'm not going to say that the Browns will make the playoffs. But in terms of being Super Bowl contenders, I just don't think that Deshaun Watson has what it takes in him. And I think his days of him playing like he was with the Houston Texans are gone. So unfortunately, I have the Browns being pretenders in the upcoming season. Buffalo Bills. Okay, the Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia. Josh Allen is a top three quarterback in the NFL. He's probably one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the NFL. So I feel like as long as you have Josh Allen, you always have a chance, right? So no matter how many pieces you lost on defense, no matter how many pieces you lost on offense, as long as you have Josh Allen, he's going to make the plays to keep you in the game and keep you in shootout games. So there's no denying that Josh Allen is a big, big part of this team. With that being said, they lost a lot of key pieces defensively. The whole wide receiver room is revamped. And most likely they'll have a rookie wide receiver playing in Keon Coleman. They will have Curtis Samuel. Um, and I know Marquez Valdez is there. And I'm, I'm, I'm Hollins is there. Matt Collins is there. So wide receiver room is revamped. Um, I'm going to have to say that the Buffalo Bills are pretenders. Uh, look. Josh Allen, like I said, top three quarterback in the NFL. He's going to make plays. He's going to put himself in the MVP conversations because he's one of the dominant quarterbacks in the NFL. So I think he'll keep their, his team in games. Great chance that they could probably win the division. I think that the I think the AFC East is like in a three way tie with like the Dolphins, Bills, Jets of who's fighting for the number one spot. So I think the Bills will still be competitive, still fight to win the division. And I think they can make a push for the playoffs. But Josh Allen alone cannot do it by himself to help this team make it to the Super Bowl. I think there's some years or maybe a year or two, but I just think that right now, based off how much talent they lost on both sides of the ball. There's only so much that Josh Allen can do with this team right now. So I got the Buffalo Bills being pretenders this upcoming season. Okay, last but not least, we have the Houston Texans. Listen, I'm not going to talk too much on this team. I got them being contenders. CJ Stroud, rookie of the year. He looks legit. Definitely the face of this franchise. He's probably going to be the face of the NFL based on how he performed this past season. They got Stephon Diggs. They got Joe Mixon. They got Daniel Hunter and Edge. If this defense can stop the rush, I mean, if you saw how they performed against the Baltimore Ravens in the playoffs, they got ran over and over and over. But if this team can stop the run, this team is going to be legit. I think that they'll be the number one um, team in the AFC South. I think they could win that division. Um, they do have a really hard schedule. There is a lot of primetime games that they're going to have to show up and win and prove a point that based off the moves and, and them having CJ Shroud, this team is legit and can make, a, can make a Super Bowl push. And honestly, I think the Houston Texans are a dark horse to make the Super Bowl on the AFC side. You definitely have to get past the Kansas City Chiefs because I think there's a great chance they'll probably be there in the AFC Championship game. But if the Texans win a good amount of games, they should have to legit based off the, the uh, moves that they made and stop the rush. The Houston Texans are contenders and they are a dark horse to make a Super Bowl. Houston Texans, they are contenders. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed the content. And please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy football content every week. Thank you so much, guys, and catch you next time.